morning. Mr. Mr. K has decided to graciously be my cameraman while I try to shop TJ Maxx and other places today, but we'll see. It's already 70 something degrees early in the morning, so I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if I want to do that. <laughs> I'm so bitter. Oh, look at the highlights. Look at the gray. Oh, old, oldness. All right, so we're going to go in and see if this TJ Maxx has improved any since the last time I shopped here. It hasn't in the entire time I've lived here ever. You've got things to say. Okay. Um, yeah, it hasn't been the best TJ Maxx in I've ever been to, but we're going to try it today and see if there's anything good. And he's going to help with the vlog.
we have some commentary about that um, thrift store. It certainly had abundant sufficiency of books and DVDs and, and the like, but we're not really in the market for that. Although you were in the market for something specific. Um, but <laughs> first thing, I go down the handbag aisle. At the very end of the aisle, there is this very faux, I didn't even want to take a picture of it because it was that bad, a very faux Louis Vuitton item. Thankfully, they were only selling it for $7, but even so, it was like, oh, oh, oh. It was khaki, um, monogram, canvas print with a really strange plastic leather trim, leather quotes. Yeah, I mean, thankfully they didn't think of it as being anything authentic, but even so, it was just like, you know, a typical thrift store. Nothing, nothing to figure out. But on the way out, we found, or I should say, I looked down and I go, hey, does this look Wisconsin? <laughs> I'll insert the picture. So that was kind of a best. I ended up picking up that um, Raffia Loewe tote um, dupe and it was only like $26 so it's not a bad price point. I might return it though but it was on clearance and it seemed like an okay deal so I have it but it's just the pickings there at that TJ Maxx have always been yeah not great and then of course all of our goodwills are horrible so i resort to just online for that we don't really have any other secondhand or thrift stores around at least here in salem um i'm sure if i went up north to portland it'd be a lot better but i just don't make the truck anymore um very often so anywho i'm curious if you all are having the same type of luck out there if you do shop thrift stores or tj maxx discounters those kind of places if things just seem really just meh and not worth it i was really um just not feeling it this morning granted i have only had like two sips of coffee so maybe i'm just cranky and need more coffee but um yeah i just haven't been in the mood to go into any of the stores around here which is probably a bad thing because the more we don't shop in them the more they're going to shut down and we won't have a place to go shop in person so you know food for thought i'm curious how things are going for you so let me know down below what you're are you not shopping are you shopping are you shopping these places are you looking for other things are you just hanging out in your backyard for the summer and just chilling out Probably should just do that. I'm gonna get inside before it gets much warmer. So talk to you later, bye.